Today I'm attending a tropical bird banding project. We'll be netting upper canopy uh, small birds, putting a ring on one of their legs and recording their data. Then I will be sharing some snippets of my life here on a tropical permaculture farm in Belize. Hello, welcome back to my channel, sharing slices of my life and wisdom on our jungle polyculture organic farm. Practicing food, forest, gardening in the tropics. Phew! Join me on my adventures. This is this morning's harvest. We have a few Suriname cherries, some mulberries, cashews, and cacao. This afternoon I am going to be making some jam using the mulberries and Suriname cherries which I harvested. But first, I'm going up the road about two miles to a place called Trees, which I'll explain what that is later where I have been invited to attend a bird banding workshop. I'm here at Trees this morning, which is about two miles up from where we live. Toucan Ridge Ecological and Education Society. They are a small grassroots ecological conservation organization focusing on tropical ecological research. They provide post-secondary education like wildlife biology internships. What is so neat about them is that they do research on a variety of subjects. For example, on turtles using radio telemetry. Catching bats at night and identifying and studying them. And then of course the reason why I am here this morning is the uh, netting, banding, and studying tropical birds. Let's go! Follow me on another adventure! So we're doing some bird banding today. Um, we've been catching a lot of red-eyed vireos, which we have one of right now. Um, and so basically what we're doing is we're putting a metal band on them um, that has a unique code. Um, and so when we recapture that bird, we can compare the data that we've taken today with data that we can take later on. So we can see as a bird ages or we can catch a bird years later and know um, that this bird is, is an older bird uh, because we've placed a band on it this year. Um, so there's lots of lots of uh, neat data that we can take and that we can compare it through time um, using this process. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. We've got the triple high net set up behind us here. Um, so that's, let's see, probably about 20 feet high uh, net. And so that's what we're using to catch the birds in. So they'll fly into the net and then we'll remove them from the net. Um, 
on and place the bag on them. The red-eyed vireos are migrants on their way back to their breeding grounds in the USA and Canada from the Amazon area. They stop over here in these beautiful Maya mountains, which is part of their migration flyway. It is an important area for most migrants as they fly north now and then south later on because of the abundance of food and water. Something I have learned today is that most migrants fly at night. This is because of cooler temperatures, the air is stiller and there are very few predators. This is a summer tanager, either a female or a juvenile male on its way back to yeah. northern Mexico or the sen south central USA. Belize is part of the Selva Maya, the biological Mesoamerican corridor which stretches from uh, central Mexico down through the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, parts of Guatemala down into Belize. This is a rich area of biodiversity which is very important to the birds in this case for their migration. This shows exactly where Belize is. Here we have the United States with the Mexican border coming all the way down here, very big country, the Yucatan Peninsula, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and Belize is right here with the orange or the pink border. Session. Okay. And that's seeing a distinct limit here. Like it's sort of gradually becoming okay. Um, more abraded at the ends there. What an exciting and stimulating morning at trees. The interns were very helpful and very gracious with me. Finn was a great team leader. It was a memorable experience for me. Thank you to Vanessa and Matt for allowing me to be there. A friend of mine who is visiting from the States uh, is visiting some family down here and has brought me some goodies. A Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone system together with a lavalier mic and a connector. I know this will improve my sound recording which I've been struggling with a little bit but I'm sure this is going to make a great improvement and then later I will do a comparison of using this with uh, not using it. So here goes, let's open it. The unboxing is now done. So what we have here is a recorder, something that's recording the sound, which does have its own little microphone with a fancy little thing called a fuzzy windscreen, which you can clip on to stop the wind noise or you can use a lavalier mic or a lav mic which clips into this and then overrides the internal uh, microphone on here. So this one can clip onto your shirt. Uh, it transmits the sound receiver which sends the information via the lightning to the headphone jack to the iPhone which I'm using there, so I can't demonstrate it. I believe this to be some kind of cricket. I will have to look it up. A grasshopper maybe. But what is amazing to me is how long the antenna are. I don't know if you can see my finger here. This is how long the antenna are. 
That is quite amazing. A night visitor making a beautiful sound. Look at those suckers on its feet. Isn't that cute? If you enjoy what I'm sharing, please like, subscribe, and share with friends. By the way, subscribing doesn't mean you have to pay a monthly fee. Now you can if you want to, but it's not like a magazine subscription where you've got to pay every year. It's free. Just subscribe so you get a little bit more of what I'm doing. Thank you. I'd appreciate it. The mulberry tree is doing very well. It doesn't have a lot of branches. Some of them are very thin, but it's producing well. I'll be harvesting this morning again. Oh, somebody else is harvesting. Look at that. I'm in the kitchen today making some mulberry jam. I've harvested, now I'm taking off the little stalks on the end. It's very difficult to do this job without getting your fingers dirty. But you'll notice that I have some green ones here, or pink ones, or whatever. Uh, not pink, but not ripe, because I'm not going to be using any pectin today. So I have finished doing all that, now I'm going to weigh them. Layering with sugar. I will then let it sit for a couple of hours. The juice will start coming out. Then I will add some lime juice and start cooking. I got impatient. I did not wait for the sugar to dissolve. And so I have added everything to the pot on a very low heat to get the sugar to dissolve. A bit difficult doing this with one hand, but should be holding the pot. It will take a while, but I am going to love it. 
One of these will be our new puppy. It should be called Kanga because they are Kangals, which is an Anatolian or Turkish dog. Very good with children, animals, good watchdogs, good herders. The new addition to our family. Kanga, a cross between a Kangal, which is an Anatolian dog from Turkey, and a German Shepherd. Getting closer. Final yield, not very much, but still very tasty. Mmm. Another episode of my adventures here in Belize and on Amethyst. Tropical bird banding, jam making, kangles. Um, thank you for watching. See you next time. Mmm.